Item number SCP-7195, Security Level 1. Containment class not applicable. Disruption class not applicable. Risk class not applicable. Assigned site not applicable. Site director not applicable. Research head Alex Thorley not applicable. Assigned MTF not applicable. Special containment procedures. Note to self, pick up cat food at store. Description. SCP-7195 is Kitty, a domestic cat of undetermined breed that occasionally visits Alex Thorley's office. It is unknown how Kitty is able to locate and travel to the physical location of the office or where he goes when he's not there. Addendum 7195-1 First Contact Site 120 Begin Log Thorley enters the office. SCP-7195 is already present. Thorley stares at SCP-7195. SCP-7195 stares at Thorley. Meow. Meow. Thorley turns towards the corridor. Whose cat is this? There is no response. SCP-7595 exits from view. Thorley notices the lack of a cat. Huh. And Nog. Note, further research at Site 120 was unable to determine the identity of the cat or of the cat's theoretical owner. Addendum 71952, Second Encounter, Site 15. Begin Nog. Thorley stares vacantly at the web computer. Fifteen minutes of vacant staring redacted. SCP-7595 enters from out of frame. Thorley does not appear to notice. SCP-7595 rubs against Thorley's legs, purring. How do you get in here? SCP-7595 purrs, meows, then continues purring. Thorley recognizes the cat. Kitty cat? SCP-7595 ceases purring. SCP-7195 jumps into Thorley's vacant lap. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thorley stringently pets the cat and returns to work. And Nog. Notes, SCP-7195 remained on Alex Thorley until they stood up, at which point SCP-7195 exited from view and vanished. Addendum, 7195-3, Third Encounter, Site 58. Begin Nog. Thorley is about to eat a microwave salami and cheese sandwich. The ingredients used to make the sandwich have not yet been put away. As they are about to take a bite, a meow is heard. Hey, kitty. SCP-7195 sits on the floor near Thorley, looks up expectantly, and meows. What? SCP-7195 meows an extended meow, which dips into a lower pitch before returning to normal. Food? I don't have cat food. Salami? Thorley rips a tiny piece of salami from the salami package and feeds it to SCP-7195. SCP-7195 eats the salami. Thorley picks the sandwich back up, readying to bite it. SCP-7195 mails in the same manner as previously. Thorley sets down the sandwich. I'm sorry. Thorley stands up. I'll go get some. Be right back. Thorley exits the office, glancing back at SCP-7185 as they do. Once Thorley has exited, SCP-7185 jumps onto the desk. SCP-7185 sniffs the sandwich and the component ingredients. SCP-7185 begins chewing on a bag of bagels. SCP-7185 reaches the bagel sack, taking a single bite of every bagel, then exits from view. Thorley returns with a bag of cat food. Thorley notices the lack of a cat. Kitty? Thorley fails to find SCP-7195, but notices the bite marks on the bagel, consistent with the feline of SCP-7195 size. Thorley throws away the damaged bagels. And Nog. Note, following this encounter, Liaison Thorley purchased cat food, a football, a water bowl, a litter box, cat litter, 
and cat toys in anticipation of the next encounter. Liaison Thori also received pet care tips from the Department of Zoological Studies Vice Chair Dr. Vera Carraway and was able to subsequently determine that SCP-7185 was male and had been neutered. Following the previous log, SCP-7185 began to visit Alex Lawley's office more frequently and for longer durations, often eating, playing, or keeping in a song thoroughly company. Seven logs redacted for brevity. Addendum 71954, 18th Encounter, Site 87. Begin log. Thorley is emptying a box. SCP-7185 is grooming himself nearby. Thorley has emptied the box. SCP-7185 investigates the empty box, walking inside. Thorley playfully shuts the box. Meowing is heard. Thorley opens the box. SCP-7185 is no longer visible. Thorley is visibly confused. And no. Note, Liaison Thorley has been unable to usher SCP-7185 into a cat carrier for veterinary checkups or anomaly testing, as SCP-7185 will become impossible to locate. However, visitors have observed no difference between SCP-7185 and a healthy baseline cat. Thorley has similarly been unable to equip SCP-7185 with a caller or tracking chip, though SCP-7185 has allowed the administration and application of medical care by Thorley when needed. Five logs redacted for brevity. Addendum 7185 23rd Encounter, Site 80. Begin log. Thorley is asleep in the quarters. The sound of glass breaking is heard. The sound wakes Thorley. Kitty? Thorley investigates and finds the freestanding mirror fell over and shattered. Thorley requisitions a broom and sweeps up the mess. And Nog. Notes. SCP-7195 appeared the following day unharmed. He remains the primary suspect. Warlocks redacted for brevity. Addendum 71956 28th Encounter Site 43 Begin Log SCP-7185 is pushed onto the cat tower, staring at Thorley. Thorley notices and stares at SCP-7195. SCP-7195 blinks slowly at Thorley. Thorley blinks slowly at SCP-7195 and Log. Note, the above has a Occurred on several occasions. Seven logs redacted for brevity. Addendum 7195 36th encounter. Begin log. SCP 7195 is seated on the ground, tail swishing, and gaze held upwards, eyes moving as if tracking prey. He meows. What is it, Kitty? Meow. There's nothing there. SCP-7185 crouches, wriggles his butt, and leaps two feet upwards. Wow! Big jump! Thorley approaches and pets SCP-7185. SCP-7185 purrs and rubs his face against Thorley's hand. End log. Note to yourself, Hitty has some small bites on him. I should get him some flea medicine next time I'm at the store. Addendum 7195 on May 27th, SCP-7185 was witnessed wearing a cat collar. Her collar's pet tag heavily resembled a Foundation star for bravery in combat. Listed SCP-7185's name as Agent Kitty H. Cat and displayed a valid, though non-existent, Level 2 Foundation Authentication ID. SCP-7185 has not been noted with a collar since.